Hello, Leo. How are you? Hope you're doing well, Leo. If you're a returning soul, welcome back. And if not, welcome to my channel, Pisces Spirit Moon. Okay, Leo. Sorry about that. Leo, I want to thank you all for your likes, your comments, subscribing to my channel and your kind donations. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. It means the whole world to me. Thanks for your support. And uh, as I said before, uh, I'm not able to respond or reply to each and every single one of your comments because it's uh, they're adding up. There's quite more and more every time. So it's uh, a bit hard for me now to reply to each one, but I do read them, okay? And, uh, and I click the heart uh, button or the icon to show you that I saw it and that is the best way I can express my gratitude, okay? Now I do reply when um, someone posts a specific question or something that has to be answered that I do, I do take my time to, to reply, okay? But, uh, but I do read all your comments, okay? And thank you, thank you so much for that, all your positive feedback. And uh, Leo, if you like how I read and you'd like to book a personal reading with me, or if you'd like to make a kind donation and support my channel and what I do, all the info is in the description box down below, okay? Now keep in mind that the only way to get in touch with me is through that description box, that info there, okay? Um, I don't uh, reach out to anyone offering my services, okay? I don't do that. Okay, so if you get any funny messages from anyone, just disregard it, ignore it, okay? Because that's not me. Okay, Leo. Leo, also keep in mind that my readings are general and they're timeless. So don't try to force or fit anything, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Leave the rest for someone else. Okay, Leo. It's always good to check your other placements, what signs you have in your moon, rising, Venus. Okay. So if this chart, uh, if this chart, if this reading doesn't resonate, maybe another reading that I upload for another sign for that specific placement that you have might make more sense. Okay. All right, Leo. Let's see what we have for you. Okay. The heart of the matter or what this reading is about. It's the fool. It's a new beginning. There will be a new moon in Virgo. That's a new beginning right there. Also in Lib Libra, it will be in the cusp of both signs. Very go in Libra, so that marks a very, very fresh new start in many aspects. Sometimes it's in, it's in health, but with Libra, it can be also some external environment, some, some things that have to be balanced, okay? Let's see. So we have that new beginning. It's a fresh new start. It's a leap of faith. Okay. Being fearless. But they're telling you to be fearless. Not to worry about anything. But do watch your step. Blocking you. Or challenging you. Or maybe benefiting you. The lover's card, strong Gemini. Okay. Now this is where I get the sense of having to balance things. This could be with someone else. 
this could be just within you both your divine masculine and divine feminine energies have to be balanced we all embody both energies okay so it doesn't matter what gender you are gender is non-specific in tarot it never is and it should never be something about vulnerability not being afraid to be vulnerable also okay because they're both naked they're not afraid of showing themselves this could be a blockage we'll see in a minute crowning you or in your conscious mind or what you do see clearly it's the three of cups okay could be celebration, but we'll see in a minute, okay? I'm trying to avoid that toxic third party energy as much as I can. But with Mercury in retrograde, we get a lot of that energy creeping in. Below you, or in your subconscious mind, or what you don't see clearly, or it's sometimes what you don't want to see. It's the Six of Pentacles. That's my pre Libra energy right there. It's things getting balanced, equal give and take. Okay? I think that new moon in Virgo and Libra is doing some things right here. Something also about not spreading your energy too much. Sorry, my hair. I'm having a bad hair day. Recent past, or what's pushing you through this magnificent energy? It's the Nine of Cups. That's being completely emotionally fulfilled within yourself okay now this could have been a wish that you are starting to work on maybe you already saw your true value what you really are worth on your own Okay, the energy in front of you or what's coming towards you or where you're headed or near future. It's the Eight of Swords is releasing that mental state of feeling stuck, stagnant, blindfolded, not seeing things clearly, okay? It's all in your mind. You will be releasing this energy. It's good. Okay. The way you see yourself in the situation or how you're responding to it is the Page of Cups. That's a good energy. It's a good spark. It's a good emotional beginning. Don't ignore your emotions, okay? It's very important not to ignore your emotions. Don't try to block them. The energy around you or what's influencing you? It's the Ace of Swords, it's mental clarity. Cutting free, releasing, seeing things for what they are. It's the truth. The truth will set you free. This full moon in Pisces that just happened um, has a lot of this energy of being true and loyal to yourself. Okay? So you're going to have to be true and loyal to yourself. I think you're seeing that.
excuse me. It's the sword of truth. It's cutting through the ego. The crown of ego. It's going right through it. Okay. Something that you see or saw could have been even painful. Okay. That's for some of you. Your hopes and fears. The King of Swords. He's holding that same sword in his hand. Okay. This is someone who has all the mental clarity, all the knowledge, all the vision that he needs to take action. Okay. To start probably even serving justice, cutting old things out of his life that don't serve him anymore. And it could be even in an aggressive way. Okay, because that's masculine. That's a masculine energy. Okay. Outcome or advice, which I usually take more as advice. It's the Queen of Swords. Okay, and I was just thinking about that. I said a little too aggressively. They're advising you not to do it, that, not to be too aggressive. Doing it in a more loving way. You have to cut things out, but in a more political way. Okay? more kind. Do you understand what I mean? You might hurt people or you might make situations worse if you take that action to, I wouldn't say violently, but just aggressively, okay? Don't be too aggressive, but do cut things out of your life. Just be more political about it, okay? More empathic. The way you see yourself or how you're responding, this doesn't have to be necessarily you. This could be you with someone else, okay? Someone who doesn't serve you, it's, it's, it's a page. We have both the king and the queen of swords there holding that sort of truth. Um, this could be someone who doesn't vibrate in the same frequency that you do, okay? Call it a clown if you want. And you might have to cut it out of your life. It could be a person, it could be just a situation, just not serving anymore okay for some of you it could be a job position a work environment uh, maybe even a family member okay sometimes we have to turn our backs even on those who we consider our family but sometimes for our highest good bottom of the deck the three of Wands. It's waiting for ships to come. Waiting for good news. Waiting for a green light. Waiting for a sign. Okay. Okay, Leo. Leo, I think you finally saw your true worth and you understood that you are well off within yourself, okay? Emotionally fulfilled with, with yourself. This doesn't mean that you're going to spend the rest of your life by yourself, no. It means that you don't 
need someone else to raise you up. Okay? You don't need anyone or anything to fulfill you emotionally or to feed your ego. That's why we have that sword cutting that crown of ego. Okay? Having mental clarity of, of who you are. And you're off to start a new beginning. That's why we have that leap of faith. Okay? And you're headed that way to get unstuck mentally mostly but you're headed that way that's good if you've been feeling tied down stuck uh, stagnant uh, even blindfolded not being able to see things properly I think you're also starting to listen to your intuition now okay I think some of you feel that you are being guided could be with someone, maybe even someone who has already passed, a spirit guide, okay? Okay, since this is Mercury retrograde, I'm going to step into this energy just a little bit, okay? But for some of you, I think you've been dealing with something. Okay, it's that third party energy. Now, this doesn't have to be necessarily in, 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 in a relationship. Okay, third party, take it, it, it can mean many things. Okay, this could have been someone or something that was not giving you all their energy to you. They were distracted, giving away somewhere else. Okay? I think you see that clearly. I think this is somehow helping you balance yourself within. Okay? Some of you could be wishing that things could be balanced between you and another person or another situation, okay? Take it as it resonates. They're strongly suggesting you to, to not sit and wait for things to be balanced or to work out. Don't wait for someone to come in and make things better, okay? But if not, This is just a clear mindset, a, cel a celebrating mindset of how you feel in this new journey that you're about to take. With a lot of happiness and a lot of joy. That will help you balance yourself with them. In your subconscious, what you don't see is that sense of things being balanced. I think they're telling you here because this is what, what you don't see clearly and it's what the universe is trying to tell you, that things will be balanced. Okay? There will be equal give and take for some of you. But for others of you, this is strongly suggesting that you have to stop probably waiting for things to be balanced. Or for some of you, not to spread yourselves too thin anymore and to start just giving to those who are truly worthy, okay? To those who only deserve your energy. A lot of loyalty.
Now, if this is a relationship, they're telling you to not wait for things to be balanced, okay? Because then you can get stuck waiting. And you can get stuck for a whole lifetime just waiting on something, on a false hope, okay? Mercury retrograde can do a lot of things in our minds. It can play tricks on our mind. That's why Mercury retrograde happens so that we do the work. Sometimes we rely too much on false hopes. Okay? So this is how you see yourself. If this is you, this is you starting that new emotional beginning, okay? But don't block your emotions. Don't ignore your emotions. Don't be afraid to express yourself, okay? If not, if this is you cutting someone or something that doesn't serve you anymore. That clown energy. Someone who's just not at your level. Because you're being true and loyal to yourself now. You have a, men a clear mind. The truth will set you free. Be true and loyal to yourself. Okay? Your hopes and fears. It's cutting out. You're wanting to cut this out. But don't be aggressive, okay? Be more kind. That's why the advice is the Queen of Swords. With a king and that queen is the same as that lover's energy, the Gemini energy, the female and the male being balanced. You have to you have to balance that energy. You do have to cut, but just be more kind, okay? If this is a person, this person could be emotionally a little unstable. And if you do it too aggressively, maybe uh, the results won't be the best, okay? So that's why we have that advice. Be more kind. Be more forgiving in a way. It's it C cutting out, but forgiving. Okay. But they both hold the sword of truth. Okay, Leo. If you're waiting for a sign or something, just be patient, okay? I don't know why you have to wait for a sign. But whatever it is that you're waiting to happen, just sit and wait. But meanwhile, do start with, are you waiting for that to start your new beginning? Oh, for some of you, this could be also telling you not to wait too much, okay? Maybe it is just time to take that leap now. Take that leap now, yes. And things will start changing for you. And you'll start seeing your ships coming.
Queen of Pentacles, the Emperor. Yes. Okay, Leo. Leo, I'm going to leave it there for you. Okay. Use your discernment. Uh, try to try to use your intuition also. Okay. Your things are becoming aligned for you. You're gonna get unstuck, okay? But the whole point of the, of this is the whatever you cut out of your life, just do it kindly. That's all, okay? I think that's a very, very, very important message there. So you can start that new beginning. If you do it too abruptly or too uh, yeah, uh, I also get that sense that you might regret it later, okay? All right, Leo, I'm gonna leave it there for you now, okay? Leo, I hope the reading helps you somehow, okay? And I hope to see you next time. And as usual, Leo, stay safe, stay safe, okay? Stay happy and stay very, very blessed. Okay? All right, Leo. Take care. Goodbye.